I am a person who is very giving with my love and stuff like that. Giving with compliments. I don't mind telling somebody how awesome they are, how great they are, how beautiful, how handsome, how whatever they are. But when it comes time for somebody to say something nice back to me, I feel so uncomfortable. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That is crazy to me. And I'm pissed off. Hey, pink baby. Says she needs some help. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. I'ma just be real. Like, I'm not about to pay for a therapist. But if there's anybody on this app that is good with the understanding the human mind, the psychology of, of, of the mind and stuff like that. If you're a therapist, psychologist, a counselor, a, a life coach, I don't care. I might, I need a little help. I ain't about to pay for it. So, you know, somebody just on here got some free time and want to help a sister out, you know what I mean? Talk to me. So, I'm about to let y'all listen to um, a voicemail that I received from my dispatcher. And then I'm going to explain what I need help with. So, here we go. Hey, Kalani, it's Liz. I just wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas. Um, I just want to say you have kicked total butt since you've been here. And showing these guys a thing or two, and I'm extremely proud of you. Um, just let me know if you need anything, uh, and you got my cell phone number just in case you need anything over the weekend. We will be closed on Monday, so have a wonderful Christmas, and I will talk to you later. Take care. Okay, so innocent enough uh, voicemail, right? So I got that voicemail yesterday, and this is, this is how I feel about it. I am a person who is very giving with my love and stuff like that giving with compliments i don't mind telling somebody how awesome they are how great they are how beautiful how handsome how whatever they are but when it comes time for somebody to say something nice back to me i feel so uncomfortable it's like i don't know how to receive it because it makes me feel cringy like what she just said on that voicemail was basically you doing a great job thank you for all you do and she threw in a little extra compliment you know like oh you know you got these guys out here you know i, I see you doing better than some of the guys or whatever however she praised it but you know she gave me compliments she made me feel good she told me i'm doing a good job she appreciates me she said all of the good things all of the things that most people would like to hear but i didn't even call her back and tell her thank you you know hey i missed your call i just it's like it's like i feel so uncomfortable and then ain't because of who she is or you know because like it's a professional relationship or anything like that it's not because of anything like that it's like it don't matter if it's somebody who i'm in like a romantic relationship with it doesn't matter if it's my my family my friends or stranger it don't matter when people try to come tell me some nice shit i'm like oh get away from me you know what I mean? it's like i can't take that shit and I know that there's a problem and I know that it has something to do with my childhood, something that might have happened, something that might have was said to me or a feeling or something that wasn't given to me. I don't know. All I know is that people tell me nice shit and I start freaking the fuck out. And I know that there's a problem and I don't want to be this way. So can anybody help me? Does anybody know what the fuck going on? Please help. I love you. Thank you. Emotional damage. Hey, pink baby. <laughs> There you have it, guys. There you have it. Hey, P. Baby has some anxieties about about uh, receiving compliments, man. Look, Pink Baby, don't 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 have none. Don't have none. Take it, take it in. Just <sighs> and just accept it. You know. See, this kind of resonates with me, right? I I I kind of I kind of feel the same way, like. When, you know, my fleet manager or somebody like that, you know, they'll call me up or they'll text me or they'll put it in a Qualcomm. They say, hey, Lockout, you're doing a good job. Thank you very much. Yada, yada, yada. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So. You know, this is, excuse me, a damn fine cup of coffee. I've had, I can't tell you how many cups of coffee in my life, and this, this is one of the best. Well, if you have any relationship with you and your fleet manager, you know, and you make yourself valuable 
to your fleet manager, making sure that you get to your places on time, making sure that everything is on point and you're doing what you're supposed to do. You're making yourself valuable to your fleet manager and not only that, but valuable to the company. But when they come and call me and they be like, yo, you know, we appreciate what you're doing. Thank you very much. Keep up the good work. I mean, I kind of feel some kind of way about that, too, because I, I would think that, man, something down the line is going to happen. So I would be like, well, you know, I appreciate, you know, I'll text them back. I said, I appreciate the love. Thank you very much. But you really don't have to give me the accolades. I'm, I'm just here doing my job and I like what I do. I like what I do. I When I see my settlement every week, that's my appreciation right there. That tells me, that that automatically tells me that you guys appreciate me because I see my settlement every week, okay? But, but like I said, when, when people do give you compliments, especially from a, from, from a work setting and all like that, I mean, you know, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it, you know, but it's, for me, it's not necessary. It's not necessary. So I guess I can feel the same way as she feels, you know, you know, when somebody gives me a compliment, you know, it's like, ah, oh, man, but, but, Shout out to my girl, Hey Pink Baby. She did come back and say how grateful she was for everybody to show her support. I'm pissed off. Who told y'all to come through for me like that yesterday? I posted a video saying that I was having some mental issues and stuff like that because I didn't like to receive love and, and, and clap, compliments felt weird to me and all of that. And y'all gonna come through for me? Y'all gonna come through for me? You telling me that I've been battling with this shit and going through this shit and all I had to do is open my mouth, be sincere, be, uh, what's the word, uh, Vulnerable, couldn't think of the word. When you, I, you telling me all I had to do is be vulnerable and just ask for help, and y'all was just gonna come through and help me and give me advice and show love and 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 give me your life experience and how it. And you telling me all I had to do was just ask for help. That is crazy to me. And I'm pissed off. And by pissed off, I mean... Thank you. Now, unfortunately, I can't play, you know, the the audio part of this particular thank you uh, message to her followers because of, uh, you know, copyrighted music. You know, TikTok is good. YouTube is bad. Just saying when it comes to copyrighted music. But in this but in this clip right here, she came back and just simply said thank you to all of her followers for giving her the strength, you know, for giving her the strength of just being appreciated. You know, just know that your fleet manager called you up and and them showing appreciation to you. Let letting you know how valuable you are to them and to the company. And that's the same thing with me. I mean, I know, I know that my company appreciates me and the hard work and dedication that I put into it, you know, by doing what I need to do and doing it safety or safely. All right, guys, that's it. That's my thoughts. Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. Yeah, I'm